Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you know already by now, my name is Michael Septerman and today we are going to be looking at how to make this procedural wood texture here in Blender using the shader editor and a node based setup. So as you can see here, we have a plain Blender file like a default Blender file and we're on the cycles render engine with 128 max samples and 1024 max samples in the render as usual. So let's just start by deleting everything in the scene here and I like to add in a UV sphere whenever I am doing texturing tutorials. So let's GZ bring this up and let's add a subdivision surface modifier so the texture will look a little better on the mesh. So let's right click shade smooth and let's just pull out a new window here and go into the shader editor. Let's add in a new material. Let's call it wood texture. And let's switch over to material preview or well, we can switch over to the render view. And let's add in a sun. Uh, and let's just kind of like move it to the side a little so we can see what we're working with. Okay. So to make this texture is actually really easy. It's just a combination of a few nodes. And I'd like to actually credit Smeef, whose channel I will be linking in the top right, uh, for the knowledge on how to create this procedural wood texture. So let's first add in a noise texture and let's combine that noise texture with a Musgrave texture. And let's put the height of the Musgrave texture into the vector of the noise texture. Let's add in a color ramp just like that and add the factor of the noise texture into the color ramp and finally the color of the color ramp to the base color of the principal PSD. As you can see in the viewport here we can see kind of like a wood shape going on here but we can refine it further to make it look a little bit more realistic and on the Musgrave texture let's press ctrl t to add in the texture coordinate in the mapping using node wrangler if you don't know how to enable add-ons at this point Click the video on the top right and it will show you exactly how to enable these add-ons. So with that, let's first change the color of the color ramp. Let's move the black to the right and the white to the right, to the left, sorry. And let's change the white to a brownish color, something that you would see like the color of wood. Something like that. And let's add in a middle color. Let's make it the same color, control C. V, just make it a little darker like that and now let's edit the noise texture and the musgrave texture in order to increase the realism first things first let's reduce the noise textures scale down to something like two increase the detail as much as you can and then increase the roughness as well let's also increase the distortion to something like 1 1.1 1 1.2 Anything around there is all right. With the Musgrave texture, let's reduce the scale as well to something like 0.8. Uh, and let's increase the detail uh, and let's increase the dimension a little bit. Something, oops, something like that. And now the reason we need this mapping and texture coordinate node is because we need to edit the x and y scales so let's first reduce the x scale by a little bit and let's just increase the y scale to squish in those wood grains something like that and finally let's rotate our sphere around on the x-axis like that and as you can see we have a wood texture that is fully procedural so even as you want to edit the mesh it won't be a problem because as you can see the texture will follow accordingly okay so now that's done it's still looking a little flat but what we can do is we can add in a bump node put the normal to the normal and let's connect the color ramps color to the height of the bump node and as you can see, we'll have this kind of like bump on each of the textures. What we can do is we can reduce the strength to something like 0 0.1, 0 0.15. Something like that. And now let's just add in some better lighting. Yeah. 
something like that and let's add in a camera just so we can get the wood texture in frame like that and just like that ladies and gentlemen we are ready to render our wood texture so just like that here is the result of our render as you can see the wood texture is perfectly procedural it is going around the mesh perfectly there's a little bit of bump to give it a bit of realism and just like that ladies and gentlemen this is how we create a procedural wood texture thank you once again for tuning in to this week's video i know it's a little bit of a quick one but i believe that this is a technique that is going to be important and very useful to a lot of people out there who are trying to texture their scenes so everybody if you like the video please go down and hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you can get notified every time i post a video once a week thank you all again for tuning in and i hope to see you next week bye